Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now today, I'm going to be talking about the most important thing to look for when buying a stock. Now, this is very important because if you can master this, you're going to be very successful on the stock market. If you don't master this, you're just going to be carried away by a lot of things that will make you lose money on the stock market. Listen, making money on the stock market is not that difficult. It's actually quite easy. You've got to look for one thing. That's the most important thing about buying a stock. Now, I've told you guys before about the best time to buy a stock is after a company or just before a company if you can have access to reports like Zach Investment Reports, which are, is a subscription service. But if you can't, that's okay. You know, you can either follow someone like me or other people who do, or you can actually just watch on maybe like a channel like CNBC, CNN Money, and all of that for just the investments, uh, uh, well, let's say projections about the company just before they give their quarterly report. Now, the best time to buy a stock is going to be about the time when they're giving their quarterly report, because a lot of information is going to go in about the future and stock market stock market investing is always about the future you're not thinking about what the company has made no what the company has made is only going to benefit current investors current stockholders for you as an intending stockholder you're only going to benefit by what they're going to make so i'm going to give an example now yesterday netflix they gave their quarterly report for the first quarter so their q1 quarterly report now everything looked good earnings per share increased it went from about uh, with the projection was that it was going to be about four ninety eight but they actually gave an any per share of about five dollars and twenty eight cents now subscriber numbers were up year over year their subscriber has grown to about two 269.9 million paid subscribers that means that it went up by about 16 percent they added an additional 9.9 .9 million paid subscribers look at that 9.9 .9, almost 10 million paid subscribers they added so that looks good right it looks very good now their revenue was up by about uh, i think it was up by about 16 percent so their revenue that they declared for this period for the first uh, quarter was so high i think it was about 9.39 billion 9.39 billion so it exceeded the projections by about 90 90 million dollars so it exceeded the projection by about 90 million dollars and then their operating income their operating income grew by 54 percent which is quite good now all of these things i've told you about netflix ordinarily it should make people excited about the company but here's what's going to happen everything i've just mentioned all of that, that i've just mentioned subscriber numbers revenue increase income annual income increase and then also earnings per share it only benefits current stockholders the only thing that benefits you as an intending stockholder is their revenue guidance and by law as they give their quarterly reports they have to give a revenue guidance and what's a revenue guidance It's just a report by the company on how much money they intend or that how much money they, it looks like they're going to make for the future so they're going to give a revenue guidance for the next quarter and then for the whole year. Now for Netflix, their revenue guidance for the next quarter and for the whole year shows that their revenue is going to increase by 13%, which if you look at it year on year, it has reduced. So that's why the fact that their earnings per share increase, their revenue increase, their uh, uh, operating income in in increase. The fact that their revenue guidance shows that for the whole of the year, their revenue is not going to rise the way it was last year. What happened? Their stock tanked. It tanked by about four and a half percent. And the stock market has not opened. So right now, their stock is trading at about six hundred and eleven dollars. By the time the stock market opens, their stock is going to go even below five. Even yeah, even it's going to go about five hundred, maybe ninety dollars, five hundred eighty-seven dollars because of the revenue guidance. So now, what does that teach you? When you want to look at a quarterly report, don't get carried away by all of these other things that are going to benefit already existing stockholders. You want to look at the revenue guidance. How much money are they going to make in the future? Because that is where I'm going to make money. That's what's going to go into my own pocket. So the most important thing as an intending stockholder for any company, not just Netflix, it could be Meta, it could be Amazon, it could be NVIDIA, is the revenue guidance. How much money are you going to make in the future? That's just the most important thing. Now, if you watch these good questions arising from this and you're a subscriber of mine on the X platform, ask your question there. But if you're not a subscriber of mine, you're not even going to see this video until eight hours out of time, in which case some most if not all of the information that i've just given you is going to be obsolete so i'm going to encourage you to subscribe to me on the x platform subscribing is very easy search for me at Renault mockery and then you click on the subscribe tab and then you're a subscriber another thing i'm going to tell you is this hit the notification bell 
so that you get so that you get a notification of my videos because that's how a lot of people make money i'm very fast in giving information that will make you money so hit the notification bell and i encourage you also on youtube subscribe to me now this is the apostle of prosperity Renan Mokri saying god bless you but when no travels all around the world, I hope you get inspired about what you see. I must full of greatness, Reno is a master. Only one man against the old world in large, fighting with the monsters. Poverty I can't stand. That's why Reno is a